Hey guys, Burned OST, and today I just got my laser collimator in the mail for this old ass, well, I don't know if it's that old, but it's an Orion 3 inch reflector telescope that I got from my cousin. It's, it's the information on it. I don't know, he got this second hand. I don't know how long he's had it. Um, I don't know if it's in good condition collimated. I've used it once already, and I got a decent. Um, decent view of like Jupiter, but I wanted to make sure that this was set up correctly. I looked online and I found out what I had to do was get this collimator, which this should go right into our eyepiece holder and just kind of screw it in and turn it on. This one's nice. The one the one that Orion makes was like 90 bucks, and I'm going to use this thing probably once. So this one was like 29 I think, on Amazon, and it's got adjustable light there, so you can change the brightness. Now, I can already tell you that this thing is not collimated from what I've seen, because... Oh, by the way, before you start playing with this thing, make sure it's horizontal so you don't drop anything in the tube. But, you can see the laser. When this is on, you are not supposed to see that laser. Which, which tells me that this is not lined up at all. You can even see on here, that is not lined up at all. So, to collimate an Orion reflector telescope. At least this particular one. I think it's the same for all of them, but this one. You want to do the secondary mirror first, which is this little one here. Which we're going to have to uh, loosen it there. And you have to line it up by loosening up and adjusting these screws. And get that little laser dot right in the center of the, the primary mirror in the back there. There's that little middle circle there. You have to get that laser right in the middle. So I'm going to unscrew this with, uh, looks like Phillips. Some of the newer ones come with Allen wrench. This is all Phillips screws so loosen it up a little bit adjust it keep it horizontal so you don't drop anything and damage your mirrors i'm gonna play with this a little bit and get it just right all right as you can see i have gotten that little dot right in the center of that primary mirror all i did was there's you can barely see that here let me turn on a light so there's these three screws here um, I loosened the center one a little bit, and then I just kept playing with the three screws until it lined up just right inside there. And then you tighten that back down just to make sure nothing else falls, and yeah, so that's how that is done. So now we have the secondary mirror completely aligned. Now we have to align the primary mirror, and to do the primary mirror, you're going to look at... Turn that flash back off. So you're going to look at this. So... We have to get that dot right in the center of that black thing. This this laser collimator comes in really good handy because you can see right in the back of this thing. And you don't have to keep going to the eyepiece. Like if you were doing it like the normal way, I didn't even look up how to do it the normal way because I felt it was going to be too much of a pain in the ass. So the back of this is also all Phillips. One's a locking and one's an adjuster. I believe the short one is the locking, and these are the adjusters. I don't know for sure. I'll find out once I do some quick adjustments. And our goal here is to get the primary mirror to line up right in that black dot. <clears throat> Actually, what will end up happening is the laser will disappear because it will cancel each other out because you're lining the beams up directly from the secondary mirror to the primary mirror. So you might, when it gets to the center, you won't even see it, I believe. You might see a faint glow, but... The point is to get it directly in the center. So I'm going to sit here and adjust these until I get just that. Alright. So the little screws I didn't even touch. Um, I, th I still think they might be sort of a locking mechanism. But I didn't touch them because all I had to do was adjust these screws and it worked fine. Uh, and as you can see, I got a glow and no visible laser dot. Which means the beam is supposedly perfectly aligned. Look at that. 
you can't even see the beam anymore so that means everything here is perfectly aligned and collimation is done i don't need to do anything else here except utilize it but that's it so 29 bucks it just took me what three minutes four minutes and this is all ready to go and go outside and be ready to use. Now I'm kind of curious what kind of image I'll be able to get with this thing. Because before, when I used it to see Jupiter, I was able to see Jupiter. I was able to see the moon with it. But now that this is actually aligned, I wonder how much clearer my images will be. So it's going to be fun to be able to bring this out Saturday night. I believe we have a nice clear sky. So we'll be able to use it then. And I do want to get some images of Jupiter and I have Saturday day some uh, band clamps that are made for this to mount it to my tracker. So we'll be able to track an object with this telescope instead of using my DSLR. Well, I'll still use the DSLR because I have the T mount that adapts into the eyepiece. And I have. What else do I have? Oh, that's all I have right now. So I have the adapter. <clears throat> For the camera, the biggest uh, lens I have is a 300 millimeter. This thing is 700 millimeter, but that you don't really go off of that. You go off of the eyepieces. Um, it, I'm new to telescopes, so I don't know how all that works with the magnification and all that stuff. But I, I got an array of eyepieces that I can utilize. One came with a 2 times Barlow. Then I have a, the one that came with this was a 25 millimeter. Um, then I got a 35 millimeter for wide field. I also have a 12.5 millimeter and then an 8 millimeter. And with the Barlow, it multiplies those by, or divides them by two, basically. Make them so the 8 millimeter will be a 4 millimeter. Um, so you get more magnification, which means you can get really close to objects. So we'll see what this can do. Uh, I can't wait to get this out Saturday night with the tracker. So I can actually find objects a lot easier. It's the one thing I've noticed with a manual telescope like this is it's a pain in the ass to find anything. But I'm excited. I can't wait to get this out. So that's all for this video today. Um, just wanted to show you the whole process of... Ooh, hold on a second. We seem to have a problem here. Hey. Oh. No, that's not it. So, just finding something out, it seems that this might be loose, or, yeah, this whole piece is loose. That's not good. We may have to do some adjustment here. Well, oh. All right, guys, just a quick little update here at the end of the video. Um, so... My collimation kept getting out of alignment every time I use this focuser tube. Um, and it appears that you can see, depending on which way you're going with it, the tube has a little bit of flex. So I think that's just a poor design. I'm assuming this is a cheaper Orion telescope. Um, so that's just going to happen, unfortunately, with this focuser. Um, unless I got a more expensive, nicer telescope. Uh, that's just going to happen. I don't see a fix be behind that. I checked all these screws to make sure everything was tight and there wouldn't be issues, but it's, it's just going to keep doing it. So I don't know how that will affect using it later on. Um, like I said, it keeps getting out of collimation every time I use the focuser, but I seem to have gotten it to a point where if I just put, if I bring it out back or back the focus up and then bring it in just once, it, it'll line up just enough. Um, so we're going to do it like that for now. Uh, I'll look into different focusers. Maybe I can get an upgraded tube, focuser tube. Um, then again, this is just a really a borrowed telescope. So I might just look into getting my own nicer telescope than this. But yeah, I just wanted to do that quick update. Um, just explain that, why this was getting out of uh, collimation. Um, so, yeah, again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, I swear this is the last time you're going to see me in this video. So, uh, I kind of made a homemade shim. I don't recommend this. It works.
temporarily, but I would use a real shim. Um, but I made a pop can shim inside the focuser tube that is now being pushed in, which is not happening. It was fine a second ago until now. But um, it locked it in place where my collimation worked perfectly. So um, it's a temporary fix. Do not. I don't suggest this. But it works for one night that I'm going to use it until I can get some real shims in here. But once again, just wanted a quick update.